call me Dupi. There's only three units that are what we call commercial operation. Uh, unit 6, Unit 5 and uh, Unit 4. Uh, on average, especially for the current financial year, which is 2019, uh, you're looking at about 70% energy availability for Mitupi. And Kusile, only one unit is in commercial operation and their energy availability is below 50% at the moment. Yeah, the, the problems, most of them are common. Uh, it's mainly around the boiler. Uh, we've got challenges with uh, what we call the, the furnace exit gas temperature. It's, it's slightly higher than what we'd expected. Uh, as a result, it's got an impact on the other downstream uh, processes. Uh, we also have challenges with uh, the back filters, which are used in the filter plant to uh, clean the, the flue gas to remove the, 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 the fly ash. Uh, and uh, as a result of that, we have to replace the bags on a more frequent basis, uh, and, 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 but we are working on resolving those, uh, those, those issues. Then, uh, we also have what, what we call the gas air heater. Now, this is a system that heats up the, the air before it goes into the mills, then it goes to the boiler banners to combust the coal. The gas air heater is not operating as it should, uh, but we are working on resolving those issues as well. Yeah, uh, it's a combination of both. Uh, some of them, we will agree, it's design uh, defects, uh, but some of them it's really a uh, people issue, uh, the way we're operating and the way we're maintaining uh, the units, but, uh, but we're working on both uh, the people issues as well as the design defect. We don't call them design errors, they are design defects. And it's normal, when you build a, a new unit, uh, you have these defects and you give the contractor an opportunity to fix the, the defects. As part of the nine-point plan that ESCOM has now put in place, the top, top, top priority is fixing the new plant. And we've established the teams internally, all the specialists within ESCOM are working on sort of resolving these issues. We've deployed our very experienced resources to site at Midupi and Gusile to help with resolving some of these issues. We've also taken a different approach. We are collaborating with the contractors to jointly come up with solutions. Uh, and by the same token, we're still applying the contractual clauses to make sure that we hold the contractors accountable. Uh, we're working on short term in the next six months to come up with technical solutions jointly with our contractors. We will then go into a phase where we then debate who has to fix it, who has to pay for it, there's contractual issues that must be resolved. We expect, expect that to take probably 18 months to 24 months. Thereafter we have to take each unit out of a, what we call an outage and then fix the defects. So in the next two years we'll start resolving per unit uh, for all 12 units for probably uh, the next uh, three to five years before we resolve all the issues that we are dealing with. Uh, at the moment, uh, all the costs must be paid by the contractors. Uh, we're estimating around uh, 8 billion rand to resolve most of these issues. Uh, we are using the contractual clauses uh, to force the contractor to pay for resolving these issues. But in the event that we do not succeed in holding the contractor accountable, we have to uh, have a contingency in terms of how we're going to resolve uh, these issues. But we're estimating around 8 billion rand to resolve these issues. Uh, the contingency, uh, and that's why we're here today, uh, it's, it's essentially to look at other means of raising the money to cover the, the cost of repairing uh, some of these defects that we are dealing with. It could be very complex, it could take uh, many years, uh, but by the same token we need to fix the plant. We cannot allow these units to continue, the new units, to continue operating the currently operating. It's in the best interest for ESCOM and for the country that we quickly fix these units. Uh, as a result, we may well pay for it upfront and then recover the cost from the contract.